amazing young girls. Welcome to this week's show of Talk TV. I'm your host, Captain Emmanuel Mwenda, and uh, as you can see, I'm relaxing and chilling at an amazing Brazilian restaurant in town. I'm loving the ambience. I'm, I'm loving everything about this place. You know, I've been looking forward for this day for a long time. And I think you shouldn't even consider changing the channel because the car that's coming, <sighs> believe you me, you do not want to miss it. This car is a 2008 model, it's a V6 twin turbocharged and produces well and above 400 horsepower and a very 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 distant cousin of the Nissan Tiana. Now this car has baffled car enthusiasts all over the world but not only the world, also the guys who spectated in the drugs in Gymkhana 2016 was single dumb edition. Yep, I'm talking about the Nissan GTR. <laughs> I can't believe we got this car. <laughs> Take a look. The Nissan GTR is a giant killer, a supercar that offers the kind of extreme performance that can normally only be achieved by ultra pricey exotics. Packed with electronic handling and launch control aids, the GTR, affectionately nicknamed Godzilla by enthusiasts, uses advanced technology to overcome its substantial curb weight and offer agile responses along with truly breathtaking acceleration. So this car has a fairly complicated all-wheel drive system and the engine also has been hand-built to specification. Power is up from 442 horsepower and 466 pound-feet of torque to 591 horsepower and 481 pound-feet of torque. And while accelerating and top speed data has not been released, we would expect the Nismo to achieve the 0 to 60 sprint in around 2.5 seconds. Goddamn! 
The centerpiece of the GTR is its power plant, a hand-assembled twin-turbocharged 3.8-liter V6 that pumps out 545 horsepower and 463 pound-feet of torque. With the help of launch control, that output is sufficient to propel the coupe from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an eye-popping 2.9 seconds on the way to a quarter mile run of just over 11 ticks. Results that shame many cars costing twice as much as the GTR. The bodywork is bonded during construction, increasing stiffness by 8%. And there are numerous other styling and interior tweaks, including a pair of lighter bucket seats. The Nissan GTR is available in Premium Edition, Black Edition, Truck Edition, and Nismo. The Premium model comes packed with standard features including leather seating with synthetic suede seats, an 11-speaker Bose audio system, a navigation system with XM, nav traffic, nav weather, and Zagat survey functionality, an iPod input jack, a multi-function display, and Bluetooth phone connectivity that supports audio streaming. The GTR Black Edition features a number of aesthetics upgrades including custom red and black Recaro heated and leather appointed seats, red and black interior trim and a dark headliner. Um, this car is fairly laid out, it's classic Nissan, uh, everything is right where you need it. Um, I love the steering wheel has a lot of knobs in it, you can get the volume, the source, cruise control and um, you know one thing I love about the steering wheel is the fact that it has magnesium uh, magnesium gear shift paddles which are very pleasant to the touch but also coated with a bit of leather on the side that makes it looks, look even more executive. The dials are pretty decent, it has a dedicated uh, digital dash for the gear which I think is really cool especially if you don't know which gear you are in um, also uh, the fact that when you sit you feel very comfortable it, it doesn't really seem crammed it just the cockpit just fits right and that's what I love about this car I've, I've, I've done a bit of uh, sport cars in the past but this one is it, on another level And another interesting thing, you'll find that the start-stop engine button is right at the center of the car, just behind the gear lever. And also the handbrake is there, so you can, I think you can do a bit of handbrake turns. You'll see you can be able to get the owner to let him do a bit of handbrake turns. But don't bother. It has dialed straight out of the Gran Turismo game. So if you've done PlayStation or computer games or whatever console you played Gran Turismo on, you'll find that the gauges that you find on the game have been replicated on the car itself. The guys who actually made Gran Turismo made the graphics for the Nissan GTR. And I think for any guy who just plays that game and comes and buys this car, just feels as if he's doing a PlayStation game already. <sighs> My I am six foot two inches and I fit right in. Anybody taller than me will have a hard time, you know, hunching over. And I feel even more bad for the guys at the back. It's supposed to be a four seater, but the guys at the back will have a bit of a squeeze. I definitely will have a bit of a squeeze, but my kids will definitely have a lot of fun. It has speakers mounted at the center, so you have a really awesome sound system. And, uh, well, not so much of a space here. I mean, very shallow um, compartment to put your stuff. You can't really put like an iPad or iPhone to charge inside. Um, two cup holders in the middle, one is deeper than the other, and it, it's fairly quite good. You can actually, you know, hide it or retract it according to how you feel. Um, 
apart from that it doesn't have a lot of nifty pockets to hide your everyday things but other than that i don't think you'll need this car to do that kind of stuff it's a it's a more sporty car with not too much space just just a car that can take you from point a to point b really really amazingly fast <laughs> oh my god, this thing is <laughs> Wow, 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 okay. So like I said, uh, somebody my size sitting at the back will have quite of a difficult time. I had to move the chair all the way to the front. And as you can see also, if I try to sit comfortably, my head will definitely be resting on the back window, which doesn't make long distance travels any more comfortable. I'll be really squeezed, I'll have a stiff neck at the end of the day, but you know what? If there are kids who come and sit here at the back, they'll enjoy the ride really well. Pretty good, a bit of plastic here and there, but um, I mean, it's the same, man. what do you expect? What I love about the, the door is that it's so aerodynamically tuned that the handle is also inside the, the car. <laughs> Funny thing that my producer when he was trying to get into the car, he didn't want to enter it because he didn't know how to pull the lever. So what you have to do when you're entering such a unique vehicle, you press here, come out there, hold there, open door and you get in. But other than that, it is aerodynamically so tuned I don't think you need to add anything else on it so um, taking a look at the boot you'll see that it's, it's a massive hole right inside in the car you won't get a lot of spaces to put your luggage but in the boot you will definitely be able to have enough space and trunk to fit in your everyday luggage well not your everyday luggage but some sizable luggage when I open. And I like the fact that it goes straight 90 degrees to the body of the car. That makes it easier to put things inside the car and also pick them up. 